Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to look at a 2022 Coleman Lantern Light 1805 RB. Now, if you're in the market for a small lightweight unit, this may be the trick. Now, the 1805 is similar to an 1855, which we've already done a video on, and inside we'll show you the slight differences. So this is basically an 18-foot double axle trailer with a small single slide, weighing in at approximately 4,600 pounds and having 2,980 pounds pounds of cargo capacity, which is phenomenal. So in previous videos, I've spoken to the ability to carry cargo and how many trailers don't have that or have a respectable amount. Well, we have way more than we're ever going to need. So firstly, I'm gonna say thank you to you, our viewers, for coming back to the channel. If you like the video, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe as we're trying to grow our subscriber base. Also, thank you to Bella Vista RV in Oro Medante, Ontario. Here is their beautiful building. They have a great indoor showroom, as well as a nice selection of stock as we talk at this time. Uh, they're located in Oro Medante, about seven minutes north of Barrie. So thank you to them and the access they've granted us to a variety of units. Now back to this 1805. You're going to notice that it has a really nice molded fiberglass cap and to help keep the price reasonable they've gone with a white cap so you don't have that color blend inside that can fade on you. Power tongue jack and power stabilizer jacks on the unit. They have a nice large storage compartment on this 1805 and as I bring you closer you'll notice that it goes all the way through and they've started doing something really great. We've seen this on the more expensive shadow cruisers, but the compartment on the driver's side, the door is the same size as the door we're sitting in front of on the passenger side, where normally the competitors like to put a small door over there. It tends to be the standard in the industry. Uh, this unit is also equipped with the Elite Series grill, which is a great propane grill, and we'll show you in a moment the area that it can be attached outside the unit. We have a switch here for our LED lights. There's a nice LED light strip rather than a single light. And the compartment is nice and clean. We see the aluminum framework that supports the bed. And of course, it's an aluminum framed unit. Power stabilizer jacks we mentioned. It has the Lippert solid step, which is a great step, nice and sturdy for going in and out equipped with the large grab handle, so if you have any knee issues, etc., helps you get in and out. Something I did like is that it has an outside TV bracket here, as well as the hookups, so that tells me we should be able to pull our inside TV, bring it outside, and we can sit under the stars and watch a movie or watch a game. Now this little rail here, that is actually where our Elite Series grill can attach, but more importantly is the size of our awnings. And as I step back so that you can see the entire awning, you'll notice it's the entire unit. So that is great so you can sit out. We have an outside shower for cleaning up little children when you come back from the beach or yourself, as well as cleaning up gear. Spare tire is on the unit, as well as it's prepped for a Furion backup camera. As we pan around, we'll have our hookups over here for TV, power, and water. And of course, she's equipped with these really nice um, aluminum and gray paint rims which just really make it very nice. Now, Coleman uses a AccuSlide system, which is actually a cable-driven system. Now, say what you want, you'll hear different opinions out there. One of the most reliable systems we've talked about is a rack and pinion system because it's been around forever, it works really well. 
the downside of a rack and pinion system is you're pulling and pulling, pulling and pushing, sorry, from the bottom of the unit. So it is one of the most reliable systems, and the reason we say that is a cable system is actually one of the best systems for getting positive contact when it's out or in. However, some manufacturers, especially in the motorhome industry, put too small of a cable system on too large of a slide, putting too much weight. And there was a spell years ago where there were alignment and cable snapping problems. And it's like anything. If you have a half ton pickup truck and you try to put a one ton uh, package where you're putting one ton of weight on it, you're overweighting the pickup and you're going to eventually break parts. And cable slides are no different. So if you're looking for the best system in the market, for those of you that are new to RVing, or those that aren't familiar with cable slides, from an experienced RVer, cable slides give you the best seal in the industry. What they will do is positively bring pressure in on the four corners when it comes in and when it goes out there's another set of cables pulling it out giving positive pressure on each of the inner corners to give you the best seal against the water and weather. Now let's go inside and look at some of the fun stuff. So I mentioned the 1805 is very similar to the 1855. Right here is our biggest difference. The 1805 has a walk around bed where the 1855 had the convertible sleeping area where it was essentially more like a, uh, basically it's a Murphy bed is what I'm gonna call it is it was a Murphy bed where this is a fixed bed. So if you prefer fixed bed and a sofa, go with the 805. If you like the more open space and prefer a sofa and a dinette, because we had a dinette over here and the sofa where the bed is with a convertible Murphy bed scenario, you go 1855. Now the 1805 has this indoor outdoor table. We've brought it out so you can see the size of this table. It's the entire length of the sofa. So there's a lot of sitting space and you could even throw a few chairs here because you still have decent space for dining. What I do like about the Coleman's, and I'll give you a demonstration, not only is it a sofa, but we have foot rests on both sides so you can actually kick back and relax. We do have the electric fireplace that throws heat. This unit is equipped with the flat screen TV. I do like the finish that they've put in the back to give it a look like um, stone, even though it's paper. And then it's a little hard for you guys to see, but if we look back, we can actually see a similar bracket to outside that allows us to lift the TV up disconnect it from here, carry it outside with the swing arm, and then use it outside for TV viewing. We've got a decent little kitchen. Now in 18, 20 foot units, you're always going to struggle for kitchen space, but they've put the large double dark gray stainless steel sink in here, and it's a farm style sink. We've got some storage above our traditional microwave, three range burner top with the glass top so you have more prep area or fold it out of the way for cooking. We do have our oven and then we have a really good size fridge and freezer. And this is the propane electric. So if you're doing, if you're planning to do a lot of dry camping, this might be a great solution for you over the 12 volt fridge. Now being an RB or a rear bath, we open our door. We've got decent space for stepping out and getting changed. A good little sink, medicine cabinet. The real key is a nice big shower with full surround 
and a skylight above. And then right above us is a powered vent. Now I'm going to turn around and show you the additional storage they've put. We've got two nice drawers there. Hello everyone. And we have a nice cupboard here with hanging. So it's nice and deep, so you have that extra space for clothes, which is a smart idea because in a small unit, you're always struggling for as much space as possible. Now back to the bed area, this is a queen size bed, wardrobes on both sides, as well as night tables with drawers on both sides, which is a nice touch. There is storage under the bed, and when I checked earlier, you'll notice I lifted. They do have the shocks that, you know, we see so many manufacturers have gone away from. And it's just a nice touch that you can lift it easily like that. I did it with one hand, it stood up on its own. You could get your gear inside and, and then close it up. We also have power plugs on both sides. And rather than just having a shelf across the top, we actually have fully enclosed storage. The lights, of course, are all LED lights. And then you've heard me talk, especially if you're gonna do some dry camping, about windows with screens. And we have windows on both sides, both with screens. So if you were taking a longer trip, pulled into a truck stop, a Walmart, you could open that to get some natural air ventilation through, or if you're dry camping and you don't wanna be running the generator because there's a nice breeze out and it's relatively cool, you can open up the windows and get that cross ventilation and still be able to sleep at night. So a nicely laid out unit, you'll notice they've put a little bit of attention, uh, items in the corner, nice big window, not really space to put storage. So they've put some corner shelves in here to give you that extra storage and some additional storage above the TV. So if you're in the market for a smaller unit, lighter unit, to just get out and travel, you know, 4,600 pounds, or we're just under 4,600 pounds in this Coleman. That's a nice weight range, especially with today's gas prices and the shortage of pickup trucks that are out there. So if you have a smaller mid-size pickup, uh, pickup with a V6, you've got lots of towing capability. Anyways, again, I'd like to give a special thank you to Bella Vista RV as they're the Coleman dealer for the greater Toronto area, Simcoe, Muskoka, York region area. They're on right on Highway 11 outside of Barrie. So thank you to them for giving us access to the units here. Thank you to you guys for watching the video. If you like the video, please click the like button and hit that bell besides the uh, subscribe after you hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified of new videos as they come through as we're posting on a regular basis thank you again guys make sure you're living life to the fullest every day